Well, voters in Washington have less than a week left to return their ballots for the state's top two primary. That includes the race for governor. Alma McCarty joins us now with a look at what to know ahead of next Tuesday. Good evening, Alma. Good evening, David Christine. Let's first break down some of the big races, starting with Congressional District 3, which could end up as a rematch. The incumbent in that race, Democrat Marie Glusenkamp Perez, who's up against Republicans Joe Kent and Leslie Llewellyn. Glusenkamp Perez beat Kent in 2022 in the general election. Polls show the two very close in one case, effectively tied. Then there's the Senate race. Incumbent Democrat Maria Cantwell has held the position since 2001. There are several people listed on the ballot, but her main challenger is Republican Raul Garcia, a doctor from Yakima. Polls currently show Cantwell holding a lead over Garcia. And of course, there's the race for governor, as Governor Jay Inslee is not seeking re-election. Attorney General Bob Ferguson, a Democrat, faces former Congressman Dave Reichert, a Republican. A poll from our sister station in Seattle shows Ferguson in the lead with more than 40 percent of the vote, Reichert with more than 30. Republicans Semi Bird and Democrat Mark Mullet are also in the running. As a reminder, in Washington state, it's a top two primary. That means voters do not have to declare a party affiliation to vote, and all candidates from every party for each race appear in a single group on the ballot. The two with the highest number of votes advance to the general election on November 5th. Clark County elections officials today say they plan to check the accuracy of the ballot counting machines following the election. They'll perform a hand count of randomly picked ballots, approximately 600 of them. That will start Wednesday morning. Deadline to drop off your ballot or have it postmarked in the mail is next Tuesday at 8 p.m. David? Yeah, some really exciting races, and of course, we will be covering it all. Thanks, Alma. Appreciate that preview.